welcome back to my channel it's lady of the house so today's video i'm going to share you with you guys my fall hot drink station uh fall is officially upon us at least in my house anyway this is one of my favorite times of the year i love everything from the hot chocolate drinks to the cozy sweaters and the fuzzy socks I, I love everything about fall. And so I just thought that I got, I would bring you guys along with me and show you what I did for my drink station. So over here is um, our coffee pot and this is where we make our coffee every day. This is a, I got this idea from, I believe she's a fellow YouTuber. I believe her name is Crafty Decora. I'm not sure I did it exactly like hers, but I did get that idea from her. Um, this is a centerpiece that I made that I was going to use for my Thanksgiving tablescape, but I believe it's actually too tall to put on the table. So it's going to be hard to have a conversation with the person sitting across from you. So I decided to go a different route with that. Um, you've seen these cups. I've hauled these cups in a previous haul and I just decided to stick some hot chocolate packets in there this is um a coffee station but it's also a hot chocolate station for my daughter i made this cake um this is that chocolate swiss chocolate and banana cake that i made it's still moist as ever very good Behind it is a sign that I've, I'm sure you've seen a lot of YouTubers haul this from the Dollar Tree. So I just thought that that would be a, a great place to, you know, add a little bit more fall to it. And this cup over here, I have some spoons that I got from the Dollar Tree. I believe they're in the wedding section where you get all the plastic wedding cutler, cutlery and stuff from. So I picked up several packs of these because I didn't want to run out and I got them last year. And I didn't know if they were going to have them again this year. So I just made sure that I grabbed a couple of them. I have these straws right here. And they are from, I think, the Pioneer Woman collection. Uh, sometimes my daughter likes to drink her hot chocolate with a straw. And they're the plastic ones. And you just wash them out so they can handle the heat. I have this vase back here that I just filled with some more floral type i'm sorry fall type flowers and i thought that came out really cute this piece right here with the mugs are hanging on you may notice this from my last um hot chocolate station that i did last year in 2016 i just spray painted it and then i just went over it with some gold and bronze acrylic paint just to give it a little bit more dimension so it don't seem like just a flat piece sitting here and i just hung two cups that i had from last year as well i'm trying to use some things and incorporate some things from last year instead of just going out and buying all new stuff because i don't really have the storage right now to so i'm reusing a lot of things i also have this gobble to you wobble napkins i thought these um were really cute um, I have a farmhouse pumpkin and a praline pecan candle. One of these candles came from the Dollar Tree. Now, this is the old Williamsburg candle, this praline candle, and it gives off a lot of throw. My entire house smelled like somebody was making a, a pie. And um, the farmhouse, the pump, um, farmhouse pumpkin came from a grocery store out here called Martin's, and it was only a dollar too, and I've used them before. They give off a lot of throw as well. In these jars, I'm going to add some marshmallows, maybe some candy canes, and um, something else, you know, just so that my daughter, just so she can have something to put into her hot chocolate when she wants it. And yeah, that's pretty much what I did. Again, big fall fan over here. I love fall. I fall in love with it every year. So, uh, again, I just wanted to show you guys what I did. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I 
uh, subscribe if you like this video and don't forget to share it and just keep in mind to always be grateful because there's someone always doing worse off than you. Bye-bye.